name that is above all names I decree and declare upon your life as I shout the prophetic words I want you to thunder a believing amen from January to December strange favor 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 in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here who is in any financial calamity in the name of Jesus between now and the end of February you have the faith to believe this the helper that will arise for you may God provoke them to arise for you in the name of Jesus any aspect of your life that has refused to move forward you have tried and tried and it has refused to move forward by prophecy I push you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that for everyone who drops any naira dollar whatever currency whatever amount small or great on account of this call in the name of Jesus Christ between now and the time of resumption what God did to me what God did to this ministry I pray that my God will do it for you I say it again what God did in my life what God has graciously done in this ministry may he do it in your life in the name of Jesus we're still praying something is happening to you that will surprise you I pray for those who are in financial situations now you've done everything you know to do I'm praying by this sacrifice rise to a new level in the spirit man of God rise to a new level in the spirit businessman rise to a new level of impact in the name of Jesus Christ oh, now I want to pray the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness listen there is fire that is burning here and many many people many many people you will not escape this I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus once and as you pray one of the things that God is visiting is curses that create patterns curses that create patterns of failure curses that create patterns of setback are you ready to shout that name father i'm praying in the name of jesus that as we shout that name that is above every name every family repetitive patterns patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of destruction let it give way right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus i release you now I release you now. I release you now. Shebeketo katipata. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Negative patterns, negative circles, tying your life, tying your family, tying everything concerning your destiny. Bring them out. I release you. Mother, father, be released. Sister, brother be released from the north the south the east the west in the name of Jesus be released hallelujah hallelujah there are chains that are going to be breaking right now age-long chains father in the name of Jesus everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind at the count of three let those chains be broken now one two three break now 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 I command those chains to be broken no matter how long they have tied you tied your family tied your destiny in the name of Jesus 
be broken right now chains of poverty chains of sickness afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things eating demonic things going to satanic places I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost hear me such as I have men can have the ability to make others rise up and walk this is powerful men can have the ability in the name of Jesus to cause nations to rise up and walk ministries to rise up and walk businesses to rise up and walk that everywhere you see lameness don't just think silver and gold remember there is an ability within your spirit and you can speak to systems to structures to men to families to destinies let me prophesy to someone in the name of Jesus the one who gave gifts to men I speak to you where you have been at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation tonight rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and excel rise up and walk in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated hmm. lack of expectation you must define your desire tonight don't come in carelessly and say Lord as you are touching others touch me what does touch me mean because what touch me means in the mind of God is not what he means and because he's not the one who has the need he gives you the liberty mark 11 24 and what things soever ye desire name them give them a frame when you pray you see that that means one of the laws of prayer is creativity and imagination vision must be part of what guides your effective prayer if there is no vision your prayer will be amiss what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them what is the them the them that is already defined the them already defined every time people came to Jesus with a clear definition of their expectation whether it was a centurion son or to that their eyes be open or to rise up from you know their state of lameness with palsy Jesus responded immediately I bring before the Lord struggling families not just in the area of finances that there is a cost that is placed on your family placed on your finances that people don't rise every time they want to rise something brings them down i call upon the god of jeshuron in the name that is above all names on account of this sacrifice let the blood speak let the blood speak let the blood speak let the blood speak for someone here let me prophesy upon you you will lay gold as dust I say it to you you will lay gold as dust listen one of the things that sacrifice brings is the miracle of open eyes you see let me tell you finances bar there is a way God opens your eyes to see what people don't see It says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. That the increase of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes to the field. There is a way sacrifice can command your eyes to see something. And what you see will open you to a world of financial possibilities beyond your imagination. This is true. There are people who saw a miracle in the midst of rubbish because God opened their eyes. When God opened the eyes of Hagar, she saw an oasis in the midst of a desert. Until your eyes are open, you will not see. Businessman, hear me. I'm praying for you. Whatever must cause your eyes to open, to see where opportunities are to see where God has blessed for you that helps you enter your wealthy place 
I pray in the name of Jesus on account of this sacrifice may your eyes be truly open may your eyes be truly open and the Lord is reminding me this is a manifestation of a spirit of insanity anyway in the name that is above all names i'm praying right now every spirit that is behind any sickness no matter what it is called by the power that raised christ from the dead i command that spirit to leave you now i command that spirit to leave you now to leave you now to leave you now to leave you now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now eye problems be healed now now hear me i'm going to pray for people right now and we're going to take testimonies here right now i'm i'm praying for you some of you out of all the ministrations that happened the power of god has taught you remember the sent word light from scripture prophetic instructions prophetic declarations i'm praying for you right now hallelujah as i rebuke the various illnesses as god will reveal them to me whether or not i mention them while i pray i want you to do what you could not do before if you came on a stretcher you could not stand stand now if you came on a stretcher you are holding a crutch or whatever you could not walk walk now in the name of jesus i declare let healing from heaven rest upon you now heart problems be healed now migraine problems be gone now hear me anyone here who has been involved in any dirty or satanic practice hear me by reason of this prayer tonight I'm praying for you what you need is repentance first not giving you know what I'm talking about practices and businesses that kill steal and destroy so that you have money it's not about money it's about the salvation of your soul and the enthronement of Jesus I'm praying for you don't when you destroy people and boast that I'm a rich man you are programming disaster that will throw you away it's important that people understand that men of God are not just obsessed about money and anybody it doesn't matter where the money comes from just because you bring something to church no what is demonic is demonic what is satanic is satanic there is godly money and there is satanic demonic money are we together just because it is naira and kobo does not mean that it should be and, and and with all due respect ministers of the gospel must respect the altar of god don't let anybody come you know that this person is some confirmed whatever and just bring the money because we need to run ministry no let's serve god with integrity are we together when people come from dirty practices what they need is love and repentance not collecting their money Are we together? I'm praying for you. For someone, your hand has been empty all through this year. You have been praying, wondering. You've not gone down, but you have not gone up. I pray for you. The remaining days in December, honestly, from the depth of my heart, I'm releasing grace and I decree and declare, rise to heights unimagined. Rise to heights unimagined in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you any programming of darkness to stop you and will lay you on the road or to come to your house and kidnap people or cause trouble i call upon the god of vengeance in the name of jesus may he visit the wicked may he visit the wicked For those of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. 
and in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare you had jobs and you lost when God gives he retains he keeps I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus for your shame according to scripture receive double for your shame oh I release grace on you receive double in the name of Jesus Christ everyone say after me father shout it say father let my portion in life and destiny locate me now go ahead and pray let my portion God is a God of portions please open your mouth and pray let my portion that allotment for me in life and destiny extend that prayer to your children let my portion in life let my portion in destiny locate me let my portion in life my portion in destiny locate me someone pray in your prayer is your miracle in your prayer is your miracle let my portion let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace hallelujah now hear me don't be i stretch my hands whatever connects you to serpentine spirits that will not allow you rise in the name of jesus be free now be free now be free now for those of you in front here because you have come by the word of the lord and i'm praying for those in front but it includes everyone i see lots of people at the overflows in the name of jesus according to the time of life May the Lord give you the male children you desire. I don't know if you are going to believe this, but there's one of you standing in front here. The Lord is doing a divine surgery now. I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach, literally, as you are standing in front here. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, right now may the lord do that supernatural surgery that supernatural surgery the lord is asking me to pray for someone you just stand and you start misbehaving for a few minutes people have been suspecting that you have um, i don't know what the medical condition will be now but this is something like an early stage of madness you just misbehave you become disoriented a spirit comes on you and you want to remove your clothes you are an adult i'm not talking of a small child and i'm not talking of maybe someone autistic if there's such a person as that please come out i want to pray for you so that god will deliver you now for those of you who are in front here in the name of jesus according to the time of life go and return with your children in jesus name we pray I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of disfavor. This is the spirit responsible for shame and reproach. I taught last week that word Ichabod. Jabez was named Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. But the man got angry one day and said, Lord, oh that thou wouldest bless me. I want to pray. The spirit that brings shame shame in relationships shame in career shame in ministry i'm praying right now anyone who has been a victim of shame and disfavor be delivered now 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 I prophesy to you be delivered now the Bible says and my people shall never be ashamed shall never be ashamed shall never be ashamed joint pain severe joint pain be healed now someone with severe pain around your wrist I command it to give way now the Lord is showing me a woman you came here even to climb up to come here it took you a while but right now while you are here the power of God is touching you right now ear conditions be healed now blood
blood conditions be healed now. I prayed earlier on for a lady with a, a, a tingling, shocking sensation around your molars. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying again for healing in that area. Any representation of issues of blood be healed right now. I cause prostate cancer in the name of Jesus. I say it again. I cause prostate cancer. I cause prostate cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone you've been having a severe case of pile. Pile. You are not able to go and use the restroom conveniently. Severe pain. Sometimes pain you even bleed. The power of God is touching you right now. The Lord is healing someone's left eye. You are unable to see well with it. I'm not sure you are completely blind. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Pain around your rib. Very severe pain around your rib. You've gone to do an x-ray and they did not find anything yet. The pain persists. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have severe pain under your feet, literally under. And that pain is excruciating. Even when you lie down and sleep, when you get up, you have a lot of pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Someone, you have something that looks like some growth. I'm not sure it's a boil, but it's like a projection around your armpit area. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Now, whether I mention your case or not, back pain be healed. Back pain be healed. Someone, you have some things coming out of your body. It looks like measles, but it's not measles. Be healed right now. Blood conditions of all sorts be healed. Joint pains be healed. I'm tired of receiving, no? I want to pray for you. One of the things that sacrifice does is that it gravitates helpers towards you. Most of us right now are like the man in, I think that should be John 5 or so, verse 7 thereabout. Jesus came to him and said, why are you in this condition? And he said, I have no man. This is the challenge with many businesses. I have no man. I have no man as a preacher. I have no man as a business. I have no man as an individual. I want to pray for you. Strategic quality men. Strategic quality partners. Strategic quality helpers. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven right now as you shout that name let fire burn everything right now one two three shout jesus let it be burnt now let it be burnt now every ordinance every ill speaking every ordinance be broken be broken blotting out every handwriting be broken in the name of Jesus please bring them out quickly whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please bring them there's a reason I ask you to bring them the ushers are limited my apologies but please help them chains 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 be broken chains be broken between now and the end of the year in the name of jesus christ if you respect and understand prophecy then receive this i'm praying for you between now and the end of the year may the god who lifts men may the god who lifts men i'm praying now particularly for your finances may god do something that surprises your finances In the name of Jesus 
some of you on account of what God will do from tonight you will build your house in a matter of months I say to you you will build your house in a matter of months you will finance the gospel in a way that will not even affect you now hear me by reason of this sacrifice anyone here who has been held under the, the slavery of materialism the slavery of money you are obsessed about money obsessed about material things to the point you can kill because of money let this giving crucify that appetite once and for all let every obsession negative ungodly satanic lust driven obsession for money and material resources you can follow any man just because of money you can go anywhere just because of money compromise on your faith because of money i'm saying it again let your giving tonight crucify that loss forever whatever wants to kill your spiritual life already i declared must give way now fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire for the word of god in the name of jesus christ every wrong association in your life that wants to deviate you from the ways of god i caught you from them permanently in the name of jesus now hear this and listen very carefully nobody will kidnap you receive this one oh nobody will kidnap you nor your family members nor your loved ones anywhere there will be trouble may your feet not go there i say it again if there will be danger and trouble may the angel of the lord take you away from that place in the name of jesus sleep up near be healed now in the name of jesus christ there's a disease called insomnia in the name of jesus be healed now the lord a miracle has happened there look at this bring her out we're still praying bring her out a miracle has happened there jesus in the name of jesus she's removed her neck collar give jesus praise look at this look at this don't be distracted we're still praying check them and make sure that let's pray we're still praying in the name of jesus christ now i'm praying for someone i don't know what problem you are having around your rib your your um, what they call it now um your ribs you feel severe pain you are a sickler this person you are a sickler in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare be healed now be healed now it's called the grace for visibility to every believer whose heart is open to receive receive that grace now in the name of jesus receive that grace now in the name of jesus receive that grace now in the name of jesus the grace for visibility gives you elevated platforms you always find yourself in elevated platforms that can give you room to serve Jesus or to serve your value in a way that makes you honored. I'm praying for you again. Every shame and reproach, everything that has not displayed your full potential for the nations to see and know, to place a demand upon you, I decree and declare, let this grace bail you out now. Hallelujah. Therefore, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every prayer life that has gone down here, you really want to pray and serve the Lord, but you find there is a weakness in your spirit you cannot explain. Right now, fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh passion for the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. And in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you with your hands, even these hands that are lifted. 
the kinds of signs and wonders you have never seen happen through you i stretch my hands to those who believe in the name of jesus in this season may my god wrought signs and wonders through your hands our time is up but i'm led in my spirit to speak over your finances will that be a waste of your time mm. please hear me the Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families. But right now in the name of Jesus, by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ, let that curse be broken now. 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 I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach. Hear me. I preached a message here last year called Ichabod. There are many of you as you are standing now. There is no dignity and no honor in your life. Everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness. Can I pray for you? That veil, I, I tell you, I see the power of God resting on people right now. Every veil sitting on your head, covering your glory, bringing shame and reproach. I tear that veil now. I tear that veil now. Parokotos I tear that veil now. I tear that veil now. Let me pray. I just saw something for those in the overflow outside. Let me speak to those outside. I'm going to come to those inside, all the overflows, but those outside. In the name of Jesus, I want you to bring the people out right now, outside. I'm seeing by the Spirit, the Lord is revealing something to me. That there are people, watch this. I'm seeing a woman in the Spirit with a child. Then she keeps losing the child. This is not physical, this is spiritual. There are people who have carried things but they've been losing it. Outside, I'm stretching my hands right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, everyone who is a victim of that, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Outside, just the outside overflow. This is what God is revealing. I decree and declare everyone aborting destiny, aborting visions, losing things you should carry by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That spirit of loss and waste is hereby destroyed in Jesus' name.